good guardians this is your boy killer afghan back with another destiny 2 video and if you enjoy the video please don't forget to click that thumbs up button below or subscribe to the channel and be the first to know when new videos come out as always if you have any feedback leave some comments below i'm always looking on how i can improve this channel and i'm interested to hear your thoughts today we're going to talk about something that's very near and dear to everyone's heart if you're playing crucible if you're playing pve if you're playing destiny 2 in any shape or fashion you're interested in mod components. These are the items that are going to be used to go to the gunsmith and get mods for your weapons or armor. And they're not that easy to come by. I know when I started Destiny 2 Forsaken, I went ahead and just dismantled a bunch of my gear. And I got some good amount of mod uh, components from it. But I'm running kind of low now. And if you're like me, finding out how to farm some mods is not a bad tip. Now, I'm not sure if I'm the first one to come up with this or not. But I kind of learned this on my own. And it seems to be working with, for me really well. If you have any other ways of farming mod components, leave them in the comments below. I'm really interested to hear it. So this is how it's going to work. First things first, for those that are kind of new to Destiny and you're wondering what are mod components, if you go to your consumables, you'll see it's these things right here. And as you can see, I have 40 of them. They're mod comp component materials and you go to the gunsmith and you can use these to buy new mods. Every day he has two new mods that you can buy from and they kind of cycle around depending on what you're looking for. And what you can do with these mods is if you go to your character and you go to certain weapons, for example, if you go here and you look at what I have here on the Bygone's Pulse Rifle, you'll notice the mod that I have on this one is Counterbalance and it's right here. And here are all the different mods that you can put on a gun. Uh, specifically, this is the one for uh, Pulse Rifle. Now, to get these mods, you use the mod components or they can drop randomly with the gear. For example, if you get a created roll drop, usually that comes with a masterwork version of the weapon. Sometimes I've gotten uh, rolls that have mods in it. So when I dismantle the weapon, I keep the mod. So with that being said, the way you're going to want to get these mod components, you can farm them obviously by turning in any kind of ingrams and just having them randomly drop, or you could use this farming method. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over your character and everything that's in the energy weapon slot, right now I have Wishbringer, but you can see I pretty much emptied this all out. And I did that for the purpose of this video. You don't have to empty it all out, but you are going to be buying weapons in mass bulk, so having those empty slots is really going to help. So what you're going to do is you're going to go over to your Collections tab, and you're going to click on Weapons, and you're going to go specifically to Special Weapons Grenade Launchers. Now you have to unlock this weapon by having a drop in the game, so if you don't have it dropped, then you're not going to be able to do this. But what you're looking for is the Harsh Language Grenade Launcher. It is a blue grenade launcher, uh, 580. You can see nothing particularly uh, exciting about it. But what is great about it is you can produce or reacquire a Harsh Language Grenade Launcher from your Collections tab for only 250 Glimmer and 3 Gunsmith Materials. And as you can see, I'm doing pretty good on Glimmer and Gunsmith Materials, so it's not that expensive for me. So I'm going to go ahead and buy these. And I'm going to basically fill up all of my slots that I can for my energy weapons with this weapon. Now, it's not guaranteed that every time you dismantle this weapon, you're gonna get a mod, but I have been pretty successful with it. And as you can see, I have 40 mods, and all those mods basically came from this farming method. So I'm gonna go ahead and go buy this stuff. Now, from what I've noticed, there are video guides on other weapons that may work from this menu. Again, I haven't seen one specifically for the Harsh Language Grenade Launcher, so this might be a Killer Afghan exclusive, I don't know. But um, it seems like as long as it's not a weapon, or as long as it is a weapon that dropped before Forsaken, so it doesn't have the Forsaken emblem on the top left of the icon there, or on the top right of the uh, details for the weapon, then um, it'll work. So some other examples, for example, that you may be able to do, is if you go over to uh, shotguns and you scroll over to the next tab, um, a lot of people have been using Requiem 43. I did see a video on that. Unfortunately, sometimes it kind of bugs out and uh, it won't let me buy it. You can see it's kind of grayed out there and it says not enough space, but that's not necessarily true because um, you know it's gonna say not enough space for something like this, but this is not grayed out, the dead Nemoris 2. For some reason, it's just not letting me buy it. But for me, the grenade launcher, specifically the harsh language works. And you'll notice the thing that both weapons have in common is that they're not a Forsaken drop. They're a pre-Forsaken drop. So anyway, I went ahead and I bought all of it. So let's go ahead and look at the character. And you'll notice it's flashing all nine boxes there. So all you're going to do is just simply dismantle each one of these. So go through and you dismantle them. Now you'll notice it costs 250 Glimmer as well as 
three uh, gunsmith materials to buy it, and I believe you get 125 uh, glimmer back and two gunsmith, gunsmith materials for each one you dismantle. So you actually get a good chunk of it back, so you don't need a super ton of materials or glimmer, because you do make some of that money back as you dismantle. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle nine, and so let's see if we get lucky. Now you know how this thing works, right? As soon as you go to make the video, oh, there you go, we got one mod component material. So out of nine, I got one mod mo component material, which is not bad. So I'm going to go back to the collections tab, and I'm going to run it again. Now I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually thought I was going to get through all nine and maybe not get any, because, you know, that's just my luck, right? You go to make a video, and all of a sudden, the farming method doesn't work. But we were lucky that time. So yeah, it's 250 glimmer and three gunsmith materials for each one. And then you get, I think it was 125 back with two gunsmith materials. So almost 50% of that economy you get back, a little bit more than that if you consider the gunsmith materials. You get two instead of one, uh, you know, you don't get 1.5. But anyway, you can just keep doing this over and over and over and over again. And it'll help you build up your uh, mod components. And that will make it easier for you to go buy the mods that you want to add to your weapons or your armor to kind of give you that extra little buff that you need um, to be better, whether it's in PvP or PvE. Um, so anyway, this farming method, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't seen any limitations to it. I've, I've done this a lot. I got 40, as you saw at the beginning of the video, I had up to 40 mod components. Um, it should be 41 with the one we just got. I'll go ahead and show you another nine just so you can... Uh, oops, I switched weapons. That's not it. I'm going to go ahead and dismantle another nine so you can see um, if I get any more. So there's one there. And hopefully we'll be lucky and we'll get another one. But... Um, out of the 40 that I got, it seems like pretty much for every 8 or 9, sometimes 10, I get one. So there we go. We got another one. And at this point, we still have 3 left. So that's not bad. That's 15 of them we dismantled, and we got 2. I'll go ahead and dismantle the remaining 3, uh, because I'm not going to use this weapon, and I bought it specifically for this purpose. Let's see if we get another one. Nope. Okay, so we went through and did 18, and we got 2 mob uh, components. And if you go to inventory here, just to verify with you guys, consumables... Um, there it is, 42 mod components. In the beginning of the video, it was just 40. So that's it. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really appreciate the people that have subscribed to my video so far. I know my channel is really young, and I'm just kind of starting out. Uh, but the support really means a lot. Um, you know, it kind of helps me and keeps me motivated to continue to produce this video. Uh, I'm a big fan of the game, just like you guys are. And, you know, I created the video just so I could share uh, whatever knowledge I have on the game. I might not be, uh, you know, like the best player in destiny whether it's pvp or pve but i do spend a lot of time with the game i have a lot of fun with it um you know there's always things that it can improve but for the most part i think it's a great game and i'm a big fan ever since uh destiny one like a majority of you so anyway that's it for the video guys again don't forget to click that thumbs up button below if you liked it or subscribe to the channel um I, there's definitely a lot of other farming videos that i have uh i'm looking to do some pvp videos in the future uh so there'll be a lot of good things coming out uh anyway until next time guys take care guardians catch you later